The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Heineken Lopobri, says there is no criminal liabilities on the part of the federal government in respect of the $1.1 billion obtained by Malabu, which arose from the settlement for ceding OML 245 to Shell ENI. He said the federal government is not responsible for how Malabu spent the money it got from the settlement. During the tenure of the President Gulag Jonathan administration, the federal government stood as an intermediary to resolve the dispute between Malabu and Shell ENI over the OML 245. The agreement was that Malabu, you were right, ceding all your rights to the federal government. The federal government passed it on to Shell ENI in consideration for social amounts. The federal government who took the money that was paid for, Malabu relinquishing the rights and gave the money to Malabu. So however Malabu spent the money, it's not federal government's business. There was no criminal, you know, liability on the part of anybody. But some people, you know, for some political reason, decided to insinuate that that money belonged to the federal government. And that was why they went to courts in Switzerland, in Milan, in the UK. And it's important to state here that we lost all the cases. You can't bribe a judge abroad. So if they had evidence to show that there was any criminal, you know, uh, 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 offence committed, the courts would have so held. But it's important to put a record that in all the cases were lost. That publication was a compendium of lies, and I think that that was journalism at the lowest level. 